Good morning, y'all. Day two of working on the houseboat. I am walking down to Dad's right now to help him with it. He went and picked up materials this morning while I uploaded, or I've actually got a video uploading right now while it's recording. So maybe it's all going good, but I had a storage on my phone, so I've got to delete a bunch of old videos every time I go to save one from iMovie so I can upload it to YouTube for y'all. But we getting it and we going to work on the houseboat. I'm excited. Spent a little over a grand this morning on materials. Worth it though. <laughs> Using my new selfie stick. A lot easier than holding my phone right here. Won't be long. And we'll have this houseboat out on the water. And when we get done noodling, we can just pull up to the houseboat and spend the night on the water. It's gonna be pretty cool. Can't wait for y'all to see it when it's done. I can't wait to see it when it's done. I'm excited. Gonna save us some money on hotel rooms too in the long run. It's a big chunk right here to start with, but saves money in the long run, so. That's what we're doing. This is what we've got done so far. As y'all saw on the video from yesterday, our first day working on it when we really were just tearing the stuff off the pontoon boat because it had like a big old box where we stored our gloves and life jackets and all that stuff and a center console with the, you know, steering column and all that good stuff. And it had a rail that went all the way around it, just about it. Tore all that off. And now, or yesterday, you know, he figured out what all we were gonna do to the top of it and where we were gonna put everything. I think I said yesterday that we would have a four foot porch on the front of it. And then the rest would be living quarters. Well, He went and got some materials this morning. We've got more being delivered later. And we're gonna start putting everything up here. Building the living quarters for our houseboat. And I'll keep y'all posted. Appreciate y'all. You've been cutting stuff, you got the walkers rolling. Yep. You, you, know, you Bluetooth this. XL with your music going. Oh yeah, singing too the whole time. Oh yeah. Loving it. I I Love heard you. Screaming. Sounded screaming. Oh, you could hear me over the table saw screaming. I heard it. it sounded good. Yeah, it you sounded got a little good. bit I don't of know sawdust. Why I'm, I'm carpentering, huh? You got a little sawdust on you. Yeah, arm. I don't know why I'm carpentering. I should have just stuck with uh, singing. Singing, yeah. Yeah, next Not Luke really. Combs. It's just joking, y'all. Just joking. Oh, cutting these things into two by twos. Yeah. And then that way, well, the reason we're doing that is to try to keep the weight down. That's why I've got the three eighths right there instead of uh, putting like, you know, cutting it on the sawmill and cutting one inch. Yeah, we, we, board, we going it, for lightweight. Yeah, we're trying to keep it as light as we can. We got four pontoons under here and me and Tripp done the math yesterday and I think it'll float up to, and we might be wrong on this, but it, it said, I think it takes 13,000 to sink it. Yeah, it's him and my cousin Googling and doing Yeah, math. trying to figure out the math on what these things would float. That would, 13,000, yeah, would, we'll sink it. But anyway, the reason, the other reason that we're going with the smaller uh, stuff is because of the window jams are, are not wide enough to go with the two before. So yeah. we're just going with two by two. The windows we stole out of my travel trailer that we tore off the frame <laughs> that, that my sounds, house is on. Yeah, that sounds bad, but yeah, yeah. We didn't really steal it. Yeah, we just I mean, tore was, the whole trailer off the frame to build my house on. Them. Luckily, and, Sanford's son kept them. Yeah, we saved all the windows, and I think the door's laying down there. Yep. Yeah, it's right here. But the jam, the, the jams they're on the windows, thin. Yeah, are are built. You know, travel trailers are built for that size right there. So. Yeah, and originally we were gonna put ten as the siding, but we can't because of the windows. Yeah, and well, doors. the way they mount up. Yeah, the way they mount up is oh. You know, they need to hit something flat. And yeah. we'll just put 
uh, through the root, you know, some kind of caulking behind it and then put the wind in and then get on the end. They actually screw in from the inside. Yeah. The trim, the trim itself on the inside screws to the wind itself and just sandwiches the wall. So anyway, that's why we went with this and I went with store bought because I don't have yellow pine down here in the south. I mean, a uh, white pine, all we've got is yellow and white is like super light yeah. and yellow is like super heavy. Now the reason I'm going with pressure treated is I'm going with that on the uh, on the rat seal, you know, the bottom plate of the wall, and in that way, you know, it's going to get wet. Yeah. So the houseboat. Yeah. Anyway, I've got the studs cut. I want to have pre-cut those to uh, 75 inches, and then that way we can keep the center of gravity down, you know, which keep the ceiling as low as possible and still get the door and all in. Plus it has to be under what, 13 and a half? Yeah, to haul it down the road, yeah. Foot which, tall which from the ground up to haul it on the highway and all, which but it is. super tall people, you know, y'all may have to. I'll be good. Hannah would be good if it was four feet high. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey now. Anyway, oh, uh, we fixing the, we fixing the, Start putting this thing together because and even with the thinner walls we still gonna build it strong yeah everything well, he builds is strong yeah well see we're gonna screw everything together yeah we're using screws on everything okay we're gonna screw this to this won't be bagging I'm out i'm gonna pull these out right here and i'm gonna screw them from the bottom okay then when i put the siding on it i want to let the siding come all the way down onto the onto the floor joist which this covers the floor joist yeah so i'm gonna actually screw the siding to this piece of aluminum which is screwed to the floor joist right here you know it's that's like a, a channel and those floor joists actually fit into the channel so when i screw the siding to this it's almost going to be like a hurricane strap it's going to go from the plywood will go from there all the way up to the uh, roof yeah and we're gonna be painting and staining it and all. Yeah, the roof will be flat. So I guess the the majority of the weight being in the back of the boat back here is actually gonna sit like that so the water should run right off of it. I didn't wanna put a gable on it or something like that because it's you know it's just or make it a long wedge shape because it's gonna be sitting. You can sit it see the natural the natural way it sits in the in the water from the lines on the side and and that's 24 foot, you probably got six inches of drop. Yeah. So it should get the water off the top pretty good. Enough, you know, that it won't, you know, it shouldn't leak. Yeah. We're gonna insulate everything. Uh, Luan on the inside walls. It's fixing to rain tonight. It's getting cloudy right now, so we need to get this thing dried in before, oh, uh, before dark today, because it's gonna rain tonight, and I would rather. Yeah, uh, all this rain's messing up our noodling. Yeah, and the cold weather is too. Yeah, yep. I'm ready to get it, but we need to get it done, and uh, and you know. Yeah, the whole process though will be on his channel. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna look at that. Fire. We're gonna have y'all set we're up on his tripod. Right but to subscribe to his channel, Jeff Barron, I'll put that in the description. You yeah. just click on the link. Yeah, but we should get started on it. Oh, uh, we fix to start on it right now. Yeah. We got the little steering wheel and stuff yeah, that we've got to set up. I'm proud of it. Look at that. It's probably I mean, going to be last... set up right in here. Yeah, that's the last thing we need, but I'm, you know, I'm going to try to run that cable and all through the wall, but have a way to access it, you know, almost like plumbing on the back of a shower, and that way we can get to it, because if it ever locks up and it's in the wall, then you're just yeah. SOL. Yeah. Yeah, we'd have to tear the paneling off, but you could, we could, you know, put a piece of trim over it and just have some screws. We'd just pop the piece of trim out and you can get to the cables going to the motor and the everything. That works. Yeah. Anyway. He thinks everything. I got, you gotta be thinking about some stuff, man. Let me tell you, I tell you what, building houses, you got to, you got to start thinking about access <clears throat> panels to, you know, water lines and stuff like that. That's why I hate to, uh, you know, people putting water heaters in places where you can't access them it's just crazy because you but, know eventually you're gonna have yeah, to work I mean, you're on gonna it be working on some of this mess i mean it ain't it ain't gonna last forever all right let's get it started let's put the uh let's put the phones on the tripod and get this get this bad boy rolling oh yeah mine probably won't be doing all that like i said go to his channel yeah, i mean well you can we got another i'll be tripod. doing updates yeah appreciate y'all appreciate y'all
Woo. Got the rest of the supplies delivered. Oh yeah. Just got the delivery in. That is some long tin. Yeah, it is. 24 foot sheets, 10. Like 24 foot long sheets of 10. Not 24 sheets of them, but that's how long they are. But it'll go across the whole pontoon boat. Yep. They delivered a bunch of Lou on, which is super light for the inside walls, siding, such. All that Lou on. And the insulation. Table still for sale. About to get to it. About to stand the first wall up. First wall. It's just gonna be leaning a little bit. Ooh, you okay? Sorry, Daddy. Laying out the walls and taking the little tin screws. That's pretty much what that is, isn't it? Yes. Tin screws out of the aluminum side thing here so we can stick. Yeah, you're gonna hold the walls. The walls on top of it without it getting in the way. Battery you got? I mean, drill. You got the old drill? I got the old drill. No, you got the whole battery on it because it don't work. Oh, okay. Well, the I'm about to be taking been, these off. Been dropped, thrown. As you can tell, this drill right here's. Oh, they all been. Good it's ones. been a good one. Ain't they cute? Still leaning until we get this wall put in and this back one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now, he's got to cut a few more two befores in half to do the back wall and to finish the front wall here. While he's doing that, I'm gonna be running the drill. Putting down the studs. Laying out the front walls for the two big windows and the door. This is the part that I don't really know what's going on, like most of it, but he does, so. Woohoo! Door, window, window. Window, window, it's gonna be a door right here because we're gonna have to be able to get out in case we need to work on the motor, put gas in the tanks and all that good stuff. We're thinking bunk beds right here little bathroom right here bed up there bed right there steering oh, stuff yeah. right here maybe a little cabinet over here and a microwave or something yeah. what we're thinking anyways front wall it's so cute window window door Yep. Now the back wall. I love it. Now laying out the back wall.
back wall on. That means got all the walls framed in. Yeah. For the little living quarters other than anything we do on the inside. Got all the outside walls framed in. Sweet. It's so cute. Door. Window. Window. Window, window. Window, window. Door. Door. Yeah. Gonna swing out. So you can come out the back here, work on the motor, fill it up with gas, gas cans, and I'll be back here. But boop, swings out. Step out back there. And then the little front porch. That's so cute. 